Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. Hi, I'm Melanie Freelander, and welcome to My Terrible Take, coming at you every week on Steelers Depot. Two days ago, the Washington football team, and by the way, I can't believe they're sticking with that name, but that's a whole nother take, released tight end Thaddeus Moss, son of Hall of Famer wide receiver Randy Moss. So far, he hasn't found a new home, and it's interesting to think about whether the Steelers should sign him. Obviously, tight end is a position of need for the Steelers. With Vance McDonald retiring, the current depth chart is Eric E. Braun and Zach Gentry, followed by Charles Jones, Kevin Rader, and Dax Raymond. Clearly, that ain't going to do it. And we all fully expect the Steelers to draft a tight end, but Moss remains an interesting possibility. Moss was recruited to NC State by none other than Steelers' current offensive coordinator, Matt Canada, who was the OC at the time. Canada got fired and Moss found no reason to stay, transferring to LSU. The majority of his production was all in his final year, with 47 catches for 570 yards and four TDs, three of them in the postseason and two of those in the national championship. One other important stat from his final season before the draft? Zero drops. Well, maybe. That's the official stat line, but in Dave Bryan's contextualization, where he watches every play where Moss was targeted, he did count one as a drop in the NCAA semifinal. And quite frankly, I agree. Still, no question that Moss has good hands. So why wasn't Moss drafted? There were no off-the-field issues, and his NFL pedigree was a bonus. Alex Kazor did a great breakdown in his draft profile last year, and both he and Dave predicted that Moss would not be drafted early. But it was partly about injuries. He took a redshirt junior year while recovering from a stress fracture in his left foot, which required two surgeries. At the NFL Combine in 2020, doctors found a right foot fracture on a routine exam, which also required surgery, and probably contributed to Moss going undrafted. It also meant a slow start with Washington, where he signed as an undrafted free agent. Between the injury and COVID limiting team activities, he was at a pretty big disadvantage to land a roster spot, and he never did. He was released with an injury designation, cleared waivers, and spent the rest of the season on Washington's IR list. Here's why I like him for the Steelers. He would come with a minimal cap hit and real potential. He has been through adversity and responded by working harder than ever to improve his game. In the spring of 2019, after his second foot surgery, he earned his way to TE1 by not only working with his QB, Joe Burrow, on routes, but also training with the O-linemen to improve his blocking. As Joe said prior to their championship season, he was a lot better of a blocker than I thought he would be. He's not afraid to throw his nose in that line and into a defensive end to block him down inside. And here's some interesting analysis from LSU head of athletic training, Jack Marucci, explaining how his staff has studied the player's vision and likewise learned who runs certain routes the best and how they track the football through the air. He said, unlike some players, Moss uses both eyes equally to track the ball, which makes him a more reliable pass catcher. Going back to Alex's pre-draft profile of Moss, here's my favorite comment. He's one of the best pass protection chippers that I've come across. That alone doesn't make you a great blocker, but it shows a want to that's vital to have. The rest can be coached. So I would argue that it's time to give Thaddeus Moss a call and bring to Pittsburgh. That may not happen until after the draft, but you never know. Thanks for joining me for my terrible take. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Alex Kazora every Tuesday and Friday.